everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if you don't already know my name is Lester Horamela and on this channel it's all about learning growth and contribution I'm so excited to be back on my scene in my teaching element and basically I've been saying that I started a new job guys and the whole point of me starting this job was also to maximize my ability to work in a hybrid setting and I am working purely remote but there is opportunities for me to go into the office and I thought maybe I could use my experience to also give you guys some advice, some insight as to what it takes to work from home and work remotely but at the same time these lessons can be used by you if you are studying because I know yes you might be going into the classroom but then you have to go back home and then you have to like put your bum on the seat and you have to study and that takes a lot of effort it takes a lot of discipline and i do admit that sometimes it's so hard just to like clear of all distractions and also just sit down and get to work and i so and i thought that this video can just give you some insight as to what are the challenges or how how am i dealing with working from home um i feel like because I'm so used to, or I was so used to going into the office more frequently than not, I feel like just being in an office setting, seeing people gave me some motivation, some discipline to want to work. But now when I work from home, it's as if like it needs to come from me. And I realize that I'm not as disciplined as I thought I was. And I'm not so like captivated by my work. And so I thought to myself, okay, what can I do to make it better? Because yes, it's only been like a month and a few days. And I realized that some weeks were harder than others. But the weeks where it was really good, it was because I was number one going into the office, i.e. changing my environment. I was also being more engaged in my work by discussing my work with my peers, even though it was online. I feel like having that constant communication with people on the other side gave me some comfort to say, you know what, I'm not the only one that's working and I'm not the only one that's doing the work. So that also helped me. Another thing that helped me was just a reminder of the flexibility that I have. So, I mean, when you are working, it doesn't feel like you're being flexible. I don't know if I'm making sense, but the the I realize that people that work from home, we also did it majority for the flexibility. And so when you are having to work, it's like, do I really need to work, you know? And so just to remind myself that I'm in my comfortable area, I am still in my element, gives me some sort of peace. So I do have an office space that I'm working into fixing or making it my own. But I realized that when I work in that office space, so we have three bedrooms and the one bedroom is our bedroom and the other bedroom is Zoe's bedroom. The third bedroom is basically what we deem our office space. And basically that's where the desk is, our monitors are, our laptops are. So being in that room allows us to like detach from feeling like I'm still at home. So whenever I sit in there, I do feel like I have this switch that goes off to say you are at work, you have to be disciplined, you have to work. And so I am not as distracted when I am sitting in that room. However, I should admit and should say that your phone is by far the biggest distraction when you're working from home. Not so much the environment, but knowing that your Wi-Fi is consistently on and you have like the option to just grab your phone and quickly check one message that leads to the next message that leads to Instagram. That leads to this probable like that leads probably to this YouTube video. That is also a trap. So one thing that I am learning is I need to put my phone as far away as possible in that office space. So regardless of the fact that I'm sitting in that office space, I need to make sure that my phone my phone is not like with me. The other thing that I feel like is very important when you are working remotely is establishing a routine. Now for me, I do try by all means to in the morning, I do go and work out. If Zoe is going to school, currently her schools are closed, but if she is going to school, then we will like alternate between my husband and I as to who's taking, who's giving her a bath, who's going to the gym. So 
when I do go into the gym, um, I will go first thing in the morning. I'll come back, eat my breakfast, take a shower. At 12, I will eat my lunch and then I will start working and then I will have a designated um, knockoff time. It might be three, it might be four, it might be five, depending on how hectic the work is. Now, I do understand that when you are working by yourself, it's not like you are distracted by people that you talk to. So it does feel like your productivity is on 100. So... I feel like I don't take as much breaks when I am working from home but that's why I will finish a bit earlier because of the fact that I'm not talking to anyone and when I grind I grind so that is also like a bonus of just understanding that I'm at home um I don't get lonely I don't want to lie to you I feel like sometimes it meets a personality thing some people at the office just love to talk and for me I just like to finish my task and then once I'm done with my task I can go about my day and do whatever it is that i want to do the other thing is i set goals for myself so today is sunday and what i'll do is i'll make sure that i understand what i'm supposed to be doing this week if it means like i'm still in audit right so if i feel like i need to put planning in a good space or put my execution um financial statement line items that i'm testing in a good place then i'll put it there if it's completion how far am i going to get with completion so i do try by all means to have tangible goals and work towards those goals because it doesn't make me feel isolated because of the fact that i am working towards something another thing that i do for myself is i try to manage my time appropriately and by that i just mean that when i do sit down and i work i will work in like two hour intervals and i will use my calendar just to block out what i'm doing so in the first 30 minutes of the day i always read my emails so that 30 minute blocker i will put it in there to read my emails and then i'll put like a two hour focus time where i'm just doing audit work and then i will just stop and like walk around <laughs> just to like stretch out my legs so that i'm not feeling like any cramps or feeling t like tired and then i'll work for another like 30 minutes and then before you know it it's lunch and then that routine will come back again and i will like block another two hours and that also helps with doing your um, time sheets because my calendar is always like getting full by the day because i always like to track and see where my time is going because it also holds me accountable but i do understand that like let's say for example you're not working and you are studying it's important to understand that if you've been at school if you've been in a lecture the minute you come back you do need to rest and you do need to like shrug off the fact that you were outside the house but i think it's important to change your mentality after like 30 minutes 40 minutes and realize okay i need to get back to work and always like block your time so i block study i block work and i believe in my calendar so even if you are a student use your calendar take an hour 30 minutes and say okay in this hour i need to understand deferred tax in this hour i need to understand if it's 16 in this hour i need to understand if it's 15 and by virtue of you doing that i feel like you are able to um, understand what you did with your time and what's also um, good that you can do after doing your block hours is do like a mini reflection. So if you are studying, what I always did is after I blocked out my time, I will always like take a blank piece of paper and I will write down verbatim what's coming from my mind, what I've learned. And if I don't understand something, then it's an opportunity for me to see where there was a gap in my understanding or in something that I probably didn't get clarity on. And it helps me when I go back into the work to know where my focus should be. But I feel like working remotely, working from home, we've done this before during COVID, but now that we that we can go outside i feel like you need to eliminate the distractions and that feeling of fomo that you might feel that i need to be doing something else in order for you to maximize your output but i do hope that you use some of these lessons to understand that with the privilege that you have of working remotely or working from home do not abuse it try to um, use it as responsibly as possible try to hold yourself accountable try to instill the lessons of discipline routine time management and just basically 
ensuring that you you challenge yourself as well right it's not easy working by yourself but i feel like you learn so much about yourself you learn so much about patience you learn so much about discipline you learn so much about character and i do hope that this video was able to help you and don't forget to like to comment to share and to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>